Yeah, it, you know? it makes me think of somebody I was talking to recently who was telling me, oh, I, I really believe in karma. So, you know, because I, I don't want bad karma, I do nice things for people. But she does them because she's afraid of bad mm. karma. She's not doing it because she actually really wants to do these nice things for people. Yeah, yeah. And so we had this conversation about, well, you know, why would you not do it just for the sake of doing it, mm. you know, f to, for the idea of being nice? The, the action is the same, it's just the intention that changes. Mm. And rather than be in a state of fear of bad karma, you are just in a state of loving intentions, mm. which mm. completely changes if nothing else, at least your own mindset yeah. and your own well-being. Yeah, it ch changes. It ch Experientially, it, ch it changes everything. It changes everything. everything. Yeah. Action-wise, it changes nothing. So, mm. you know, in terms of what you're doing. So why not change the bit that's, that's actually having a negative impact on you? Yeah, absolutely. But I thought it was interesting because, you know, uh, I would not have... Well, I would not have thought of doing things out of fear of, of karma, but that's just me. But it, yeah, it opened my eyes also towards, you know, all the different variations of intentions people have yeah. when they do something. As you say, sometimes it's to be seen, sometimes it's, you know, to be acknowledged, sometimes it's do to be loved, obligation, sometimes, obligation. It's, sometimes it's to avoid conflict. Yeah. And it's interesting because... And this is how a lot of, a lot of people who, um, not all of course, but a lot of people who follow organised religion, a lot of the practices are the aversion of... Yes. Of, pain or burning in hell yeah. or, or whatever the, 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 the threat or promise is. And um, it's powerful mm. because you probably scare someone <laughs> half to death. But again, these are, like you say, these are acts coming from fear. These are forceful acts. Yeah, yeah they so are. You're not, you're not in, in, in power. So it's the interesting thing, and when we come back to the averaging effect here, is, and, and the averaging effect being when you visit different levels mm. or different boxes or different spaces, um, different emotional spaces that it kind of averages you in that direction from your home mm. position. If we think about the example of the person you know, those actions are actions through fear. Mm -hmm. So every time they do something thinking they're balancing their karma, they're actually averaging their level down in every one of those moments. Yeah. And, it's, and, and then you think then about most of the world operates on a fear-based model. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, again, that's a major statement to make because I, there's no way of quantifying that but <laughs> experientially that's what it feels like mm -hmm. and so people who are active on social media almost definitely like it is the way it works and you just you just think you're just tuning yourself in because that's what it really is it's like it's like having a radio receiver and every time you kind of go down here you're pulling it down your home station a little bit more uh, and you just tune yourself into these low levels um, when coming from love it just has the opposite effect mm -hmm. nice nice Nice.